Good morning, guys. So, this morning I want to share out of the book of Luke, chapter 22, and I want to read verse 31 through 32. And this is uh, Jesus talking. Simon, Simon, behold. Satan has demanded permission to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail, and you, when once have turned again, strengthen your brothers. And so, this is... Or actually, you know what, let me, let me, let me continue on with verses 33 and 34, so maybe it'll make a bit, a little bit more sense. <clears throat> and then this is, and, and this is, uh, Peter's response, and 33, but he said to him, Lord, with you I'm ready to go to prison and to death. And then Jesus replies. And he said, I say to you, Peter, the rooster will not crow today until you have denied me three times that you know me. Alright, so there's the whole there's the whole conversation. So this is where when Jesus, obviously, let's, Jesus had just told his disciples that when he's killed, they're going to scatter. They're, they're going to flee and hide themselves. And, and Simon, who's Peter, is trying to tell the Lord that I'll, you know, I'll never leave you. I'll, I'll even die with you if I have to. And Christ, you know, Christ says, no. You know, if you're going to deny me three times before the rooster crows, that before you even know me. So. But the interesting thing is, is that the start of the conversation after this with Simon is that he said, and this is, and he was, this was specific to Peter, who's also Simon, but he was very specific in saying that Satan had demanded permission to sift him like wheat. I read that, and it reminded me of somebody uh, that Satan talk to specifically about in the Old Testament and that's Job so of the original 12 I'm guessing that maybe there's an indication why, why Satan was singling Simon out you know singling Peter out because maybe um, the only thing I can surmise is that um, Simon was the most faithful and the strongest of the twelve disciples. Um, so once again, Satan is so convinced that he could, if given permission... That he could um, successfully uh, turn Simon away from Christ. That he demanded, he demanded to have that opportunity to do that, to prove that he could do that. Um, it just kind of remind me of Job, uh, because. You know, Satan had a conversation with God that uh, that Job would, you know, and Satan was sure 
so sure of Job that he could crush him to the point where he denies God that he you know told God well the only reason why that you know Job you know worships you and stays strong to you is because you've given him everything that he could ever want you you put a hedge of protection around him that you know of course he's going to love you and and always be faithful to you you know but take that stuff away and he'll you know he will leave you he'll deny you you know and God knowing Job's faith you know granted granted Satan to do anything and everything to him but kill him that was the one thing God did not give Satan permission to do was to kill Job <clears throat> no. Here we come with the New Testament. We got Jesus, who is the Son of God. He's just literally days away from his death. And once again, Satan comes in and demands that he be allowed to I guess you can say personally attack somebody to prove that they can be turned away from God and Jesus tells Peter, tells Simon, that he prayed for his faith to be strong enough to um, come back and actually not only come back to Christ after he denies him three times, but that he will be even stronger in his faith and he himself will help strengthen strengthen all his fellow disciples and embolden them. And and of course he does. Because um, up to this point, I believe that Simon Peter was probably the strongest in faith of all those disciples and the one disciple that was closest to Christ. And then, uh, you know, obviously this is just me. going based off of what I'm reading and if I'm wrong may the Lord forgive me but from the reading that's how my understanding and how my thinking is going and that's why Satan wanted to singly target him because Satan knows or Satan thinks he knows let's put it at that um, that I guess in his mind that if he can knock down the strongest the most faithful to God um, if he can get them knocked down and get them to deny God and, and, and now of course deny Jesus Christ that he'll be able to get many others to follow suit with little to no trouble But for those who truly, truly love God, love Christ, and believe in them, know that this is Satan's game. That Satan will do anything and everything to rip you away from God and from Christ. 
Um, but thank the Lord that we have Jesus praying for us, that he sent his Holy Spirit to us so that his Holy Spirit himself can protect us, guide us, and lead us in the way that we need to go and to remind us that God is on our side and God will never desert us. Uh, Jesus uses the Holy Spirit to embolden and strengthen our faith when times are bad. And for Simon Peter, losing Christ was was a bad thing but the denial the denial that he did portray was probably out of not because he didn't love Christ or that he didn't love God. But it was because. Satan was given permission. To. Uh, have the opportunity. To, uh, to pull Simon Peter away from God and away from Christ. And I think the way that Satan did that was through fear of self. Even though Simon Peter said that he would die with Christ if need be, I believe that Satan was given permission to put that doubt and that fear in Simon Peter to where Simon Peter So feared for his own well-being that, that he succumbed to the temptation of denying Christ. Not once, but three times. In a very short period. But because Christ already saw this coming, Christ already knew that this was going to happen. Prayed for Simon. And, uh, and here's the beautiful part. This shows... That Christ knew exactly what was going to happen. Because Christ told Peter. And when, and once you have turned again. That means once you have come back to me. So. Christ's faith. That Peter. Would not leave him. Deny him forever. Was evident. Christ knew because he told me once you have turned again. So, so Jesus knew the outcome already. Jesus knew that Peter eventually would not only come back to him, um, but he would strengthen his brothers and help um, Grow the the fellowship, grow the herd, grow grow the, the, the church. That's so uh, like I said, it's it's just the, the, the this this conversation just kinda reminded me of God and Satan talking about Job and how God knew in the end, you know, God already knew that Job would would not deny him. You know, where with Job, Satan used all kinds of misfortune to, to, uh, in my mind, to get Job to deny God and leave God out of anger. But with Simon Peter, I think. Satan try to use fear to get him to deny Christ and to deny God. He failed both times. 
you know, he had a little bit of where it seemed like he was going to win, but, you know, in the end, he lost. Both men's faith prevailed. And because of God and of Christ, each of them returned and was made stronger. So, anyways, that's, that's all I got for you this morning. Love you guys. You have a blessed day. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.